Hey Simmers, Lenny42 here with another one of my modtastic tutorials. I'm going to show you how to utilize the comma simtra mod. Now you need to have the woohoo or base mod and add the comma simtra edition, both from NROS, to be able to access this mod. So, let's jump right in. If everything has been installed correctly, you should be able to click on your sim. Click on NROS, click on Woohooer, and third from the top, you should see Kama Simtra. If you don't see Kama Simtra, it means that you didn't add the Kama Simtra edition properly into your packages folder. So exit out of game, make sure that everything is properly in place, and then come back. And it should be here. If you didn't see Woohooer at all, well, that means that you don't have the Woohooer base mod installed, so you need to add that to your game because you need both the Woohooer and the Kama Simtra edition for this to work. That's two separate mods. So we're going to click on Kama Simtra and it's going to open up this interface. Now, this is a lot of information I'm about to go over. So first one, allow an active game. That comes automatically true. I would leave it that way because it means that your townies can get it on and learn um, Kama Simtra while they do so. Second one, base disappointment chance. I would go in and make that a negative 100. The reason for this is because Sim starting off brand new, knowing nothing or at least just having one skill point, it's very, very easy, a 100% chance, even though you saw it was zero, but because you've got no skill or zero to no skill, um, it'll start off as a base um, disappointment chance of 100%. So by making it a negative 100, you actually reduce the percentage of um, chance to disappoint your client out. Okay, next, base satisfaction chance. I like to put that as a 55 because that starts off as a 5. <laughs> so if I were you, I would want to make it a little bit higher. Um, minimum notches, we're going to take a quick look at it. I'm not going to actually change anything in here. All this shows you is how you can adjust the challenges that come with this skill. Um, these are all the different challenges. If you wanted to have your sim be known as a gold digger, um, or a grave robber, or an exhibitionist, um, or a cyber junkie, you would have to have cyber woohoo 25 times, and then they would get the, um, known, they will be known as a cyber junkie, and that challenge will be completed, and they'll get renowned points and all that good stuff. You can make change these numbers, make it a little bit harder, make it a little bit easier. Um, if you really want to go into this and know all of the um, challenges and kind of just accomplish all of them, it would be easier for you, especially in a Sims normal lifespan, to make these numbers between 5 and 10. Because this is actually a lot. I don't even know if there are more than 30 people in town. I mean, you just be doing everyone over and over and over again. That's insane. Um... So to properly do this, in my opinion, is to leave the numbers between a 5 and a 10, and then you can actually accomplish more than one or two of these challenges. But I'm sure they're harder, so you don't actually accomplish all of them. Register as a professional skill level. Um, we can make this a 1, we can make it a 0, um, but your sim actually starts off from the get um, as a negative one in every skill so when they start learning the first skill and it, like the bar is about what a quarter or halfway to the top um that's when it'll roll over from a negative one to a zero so even if you made this a zero you would still have to get your sim to start learning the skill before their counter goes from negative one to a zero i'm going to leave it as one okay renown Per challenge. So all those challenges I showed you, the minimum notches, every one that you complete, you will get a renown added to your renown count. You start off with what's underneath it, renown per level, you start off with two. Um, every skill level, you, you add two more. So if you leave the renown per level number as two, you will have 20 renown points 
by the time you have a level 10. Now, if you leave the challenge, um, the renown per challenge number as one, then every challenge you accomplish, you will add one more point to your renown. Now, your renown is a very special thing. It's not such a good idea to make it count faster or higher because you get the renown to moon multiple. I want to leave that I make that a 10 instead of leaving it out as a 2.5 because it's um, pretty much the mood value provided by the satisfying experience moodlet. Um, what it starts off with is a 2.5. When you have one skill level, that 2.5 becomes a 5. So there's a 5% chance of the uh, satisfying experience. Um, so you make it a 10 and there's now, it's now 20% as opposed to the 5% that it was before. And that's why your renown is important. Your renown is used to multiply for the, uh, for the satisfying experience moodlet. It's also used to multiply for the payment that your sim receives by being a professional woohooer. So this number gets times by your renown number and that's how much you'll be paid. So at level 1, you get 2 renowns, so you get paid. 40 simoleons. In the level 10, you have 20 simoleons if you've not accomplished any challenges, and you'll get 400 simoleons. And I feel like I'm at level 10 and I'm only being paid 400 per, per woohoo. That's insane. So I like to put this number as a 100. And that way, when your sim gets all the way up to um, having a level 10, they will be paid 2,000 simoleons per woohoo and at a level one they get paid 200 simoleons per woohoo and i feel like that's actually something more realistic to live on especially in the beautiful city of bridgeport where sin and satisfaction are the main currency <laughs> i came up with that all by myself <laughs> okay so satisfaction per level is a five as i as explained before the reason i changed the uh base Satisfaction chance to 55 um, is because for every skill level, you get five extra points. You don't want to start as 5%. I mean, that seems so low. They're going to pay you 200 big ones, and they're going to have a 5% chance of being satisfied? That's just not fair. So now, they have a 55% of being um, satisfied. Um, and that, to me... It seems more accurate and every level you get it adds five more percent and five more percent so you're more likely to get closer to that a hundred percent this way than you know the other way show notices all that does is just give you um, a little I get notice on the upper right corner of when your county sims gain um, some just skills and notches and points it can get annoying, especially if your uh, townies are getting really rambunctious in this area. Um, so you might want to leave it as false. Show register as professional. You want that as true because you actually want your sim to be able to register as a professional. If you make it false, that um, interaction does not show up. Skill points. Now, right before we go to skill points, I want to go underneath it to... Uh, Tent report maximum level. Tent report is when your sim literally teleports to a woohoo location to woohoo with someone, or someone you know teleports to woohoo with your sim. All this is asking you is what um, level of skill should your sim have before they have the ability to teleport for woohoo? And I feel like a level eight makes sense. You're high up there, you're making good money, and you know you're wanted around town no one wants to waste time waiting for you to drive there or take the subway so now you can teleport to that location all right back up one more to skill points and I, I will show you what i like to do i like to use threes you know so every level is pretty much whatever the level number is times three three times one three three times two six three times seven twenty one 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 10, 30. So it's all just in threes. And so every time they get three points, they get up to the next skill level. So this is how um, this mod works. It's so easy for you to set it up, how they gain the skill level, how they um, 
achieve challenges. Every facet of this mod is available to you to edit and tune however you want to in game. Okay, so that's everything that comes with the mod. Um, as I just said it, that she has to have one skill level to be able to uh, register as a professional woohooer. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to click on a computer and click Cyber Woohoo. She can gain skill level by you doing random Cyber Woohoo um, or Cyber Woohooing woo -woo -woo with someone that she knows. So this is a brand new game in a brand new town. She doesn't actually know anyone. So it would have to be a random Cyber Woohoo. But heads up, two things um, can happen with Woohooing, especially if you use random. The random cyber woohoo, there is a chance that you will get hooked up with someone that is, um, oof, let's just say not who you intended to hook up with. And you will get a negative moodlet for, you know, hooking up with the wrong person or being, you know, bamboozled online, which happens a lot. And also, before the interaction is complete, if you end it, you will have the uh, premature <laughs> moodlet, which is a negative moodlet because you ended too quickly. <laughs> I'm trying to find like the most PC way of saying all these things. Okay. But what I'm actually going to do is, well, I'm going to set her up to do a random woohoo. I set her up to do the random woohoo so I can show you what it looks like when they uh, end prematurely. And maybe crossing our fingers, she gets hooked up with the uh, the wrong person. <laughs> but I'm here in Master Controller because I just want to speed things up a little bit. And in my other video, I showed you how to advance your sim skill level using two different mods, the Master Controller, the one I'm using now, and the um, Book of Talents. But the Book of Talents does not have any store content um, talents in it, nor does it have any custom or um, sim made uh, skills and you and this is since it's a sim made skill it doesn't show up in the book of talents but it does show up in master controller so I'm going to use master controller to get her to gain that first skill level that we need to be able to register now it's supposed to show up on your phone but it doesn't actually show up on my phone for me I'm not really sure if that's because of the university smartphones or the ITF um, new phones, but you can use a computer. So you, if you don't have one at home, which I think you should get one because you're going to want it cyber woohoo, because you still get paid even if it's a cyber woohoo. Um, you can go to the local library and click on your computer and click on woohoo register as a professional. Um, so let's see how this works. Uh. 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 Huh? Huh. Huh. Well, it looks like we got the right kind of person, but we did still get the premature uh, negative moodlet. That's because I cancelled it, so she wasn't able to finish her cyber with him. And it says, you are aware that being fast in everything is not exactly a good thing, right? And I think it's hilarious that he kind of added that in there. I personally would have thought of it um, if I was the modder. So you definitely got to give him some props for that. Um, but yeah, here we are. Let's register as the professional. And I do believe we just bust up a friend or a possible neighbor or something. So it would be kind of cool to check this out using our person, using an actual person. Ah. <laughs> there he is. Let's give him a friendly welcome. Me. <laughs> hmm, it's fun to see. Yavul. Wait, have we got another one coming in? Now think about the woohooer mod. 
which is the one, like the base mod you need for the comma simtra. It allows you to ask about a sim's age. It changes the ask sign and ask if single to a friendly interaction, um, which makes more sense because I don't understand why I'd get in trouble for asking if someone is single. That's not completely flirting. That's just asking if they could flirt. And it also adds the ask about gender preference um, interaction, which I find to be very useful. Both the ask about age and ask about gender um, come with the woohoo or mod. Zal aba na wu na wiz. Zunits do norp. Lugord. Hepdurin sibi zara. Nanaba. Chapadu. What? Woohoo, goose lu. Oh, zart. Tash du. Ah. Okay, let's get this party started. Hey. A little flirting here, a little touch there. <gasps> Make out! Now that's hot. <laughs> Boom. Girl just paid. She just got paid. Paid. This is definitely one of the easier ways to make money. Nah, I mean. Okay. Oh, homie, put your pants back on. Really? Anything to get you to stop playing, you're just atrocious at it. Tag. Larn. And the good thing about this mod is it allows you to woohoo with people without actually becoming a romantic interest. Or having any kind of romantic relationship. So you can woohoo with an acquaintance, um, and it'll never, there'll be no issue with jealousy, or you won't actually get a naughty reputation. It'll just be you going around having a bunch of one night stands. Take off food! Next day. <gasps> mm. 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 Awesome, so she got paid and then she got paid again. Ooh, she's a dirty girl. Dirty girl. You've done your job. It's time to go. Please put your pants back on before you leave. Sepita. Okay, two more things that I want to show you guys, and then this is done. Another thing that comes with this mod is uh, the ability to use the um, discreet rendezvous. Now, all that means is you're pretty much just like setting up to meet someone at the day spa and creating your own happy ending. But also at the spa is the matchmaker and that'll cost you 500 simoleons to go there and register um, and you'll get to be able to pick a sim well to have a discreet rendezvous with and a matchmaker will match you up with the sim to do whatever you want with. So those two options are available. Although the discreet rendezvous can get a bit expensive if you're looking for someone with a higher skill level in Kama Simtra. So I'm going to get her enrolled in the discreet rendezvous, and I'm going to show you 
the skill journal that comes with this mod. Oof, Kama Simja, the art and technique of sim loving. Learn how to better understand your lover's desires and how to achieve complete fulfillment. Total overall notches, two. Number of different sims shagged, two. Renown, two. Chance of satisfaction, 60%. The 55 that I set it up as, plus the 5 that you get per skill level. Length of satisfaction, 60 sim minutes. We left it that way. Height of satisfaction, 20 mood. Remember, it was a 2.5. I turned it to a 10, so 10 times 2 equals 20. Chance of disappointment. I made it negative 100, which is why it's now a 25%. If you hadn't made it a negative 100, it would have been higher than that. If you had left it at zero, it would have been a 100% chance of disappointment. Um, we are currently registered at Discreet Rendezvous. The Love Doctor is currently on the job. Current rate is 200 smoins. Sims pay you how much to do what to them? Total funds made, 400 smoins. Crime may not pay, but loving certainly does. We've got two satisfied customers. Making the world a happier place, one romp at a time. And then these are all the minor challenges I was talking about. You know, the cougar, the cradle, the cradle robber, the um, cyber junkie. All these things, um, if you change the numbers, um, like I said, make them from 5 to 10, they'll be much easier to accomplish. Right now, they're more around the 10 to 25 levels. But these are, like, you can change everything about this um, skill, which is kind of awesome personally and then the two challenges which is the prolific and the experienced prolific the best art is that those that practice 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 improve your technique and their pleasure by performing the dirty deed at least 50 times um experienced make whoopee at least five times in each of the available locations to improve your renown um, and these are the available locations. And we've done it in a shower and in the elevator. There's these other ones, and you have to do it um, five times in each one. That's a lot of woohoo. Like, wow. Just wow. Last but not least would be me showing you the day spa. Okay, see? We have the visit matchmaker option, and if we click more, we have the discreet rendezvous option. So those come with the day spa. I mean, they come by clicking on the day spa, but they come with the woohooer mod with the Kama Simtra edition. That's it, guys. This is Lenny42 showing you how to set up the Kama Simtra mod to be able to register your sim as a professional woohooer, face all the challenges, get paid mad Samoans. And just, you know, run around doing crazy stuff, man. In crazy places. <laughs> Lenny42 here. Happy simming, everyone. Catch you next time.